Let's now learn the concept of line balancing. Notice that because of the differences in the workstation cycle times of our process, everyone is forced to slow down to the 5 minute cycle time of the bottleneck, and utilization drops to only 60%. What if we can distribute equally the 15 minute lead time among the 5 operators? Our ideal cycle time would be 3 minutes per station or operator. Our balance line or process would look something like this. So without changing the process flow, lead time, and manpower, and just by balancing the line, we have achieved the following. We have reduced cycle time to 3 minutes. Note that everyone is now a bottleneck. We have increased the capacity to 20, and more importantly, we have increased utilization to 100%, which is always the case when the line is balanced. The key is to break down every workstation into tasks and redistribute these tasks among the available or assigned personnel such that each station will get a cycle time as close as possible to the ideal cycle time, which in this case is 3 minutes. Redistributing the task to balance the load may be difficult and challenging, but it may be worth the effort given the huge benefits of a balanced line. Let's say demand this time is limited and you don't want to increase capacity but you still would want to balance the line to increase utilization and cut manpower costs. Let's see how this is done. First, let's remove all operators and start reassigning them. We bring back one operator to work on the bottleneck station since we want to keep the 5 minute bottleneck cycle time so as not to change capacity. Note that stations A and B can be combined to one station with a 5 minute cycle time. So we assign another operator to handle both. The same is true with stations D and E, so we call back another operator to take care of both stations. We have actually created a balance line with three workstations, call them A prime, B prime, and C prime, with just three operators, each working with exactly the same cycle time of five minutes. Let's summarize the results of this line balancing. Lead time remains at 15 minutes, cycle time remains at 5 minutes, and capacity remains at 12 units as before. What is significant is that utilization is now 100% like that of the 5-man balance line we had formed earlier. Finally, without any reduction in capacity or output, we have cut manpower and manpower costs by 40%. Often companies downsize or right-size without really reducing costs. One practical lesson from this last exercise is a key concept of lean management to avoid this mistake. We call it right-sizing the right way. From this slide, note that what we did was assign full work of 5 minutes to all three operators A, B, C to run the three new stations A prime, B prime, and C prime thereby leaving the two remaining operators D and E completely idle or available for redeployment elsewhere. If we just reduce everybody's cycle time without totally eliminating his working time or idle time, it's not possible to right size or downsize because all five would be needed to complete the process lead time. In right sizing, the key is to make an operator completely idle or completely busy. This is what happens after right-sizing the lean way, our process running with only three operators. It becomes obvious and easy to remove the two completely idle operators D and E and assign them to some other processes.